This is the 2016 to 17 exam for Introduction to Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. Uh, this is question four, and it's really about Hooke's Law and springs and things like that. So we'll go through it in turn. Uh, part A says Hooke's Law for springs relates the extension of a spring to the force applied to the spring. Write down Hooke's Law and explaining the meaning of each, each term and its units. So for A, you have to remember that Hooke's Law says the force that a spring applies is proportional to the extension of the spring and we write that as F equals K delta X. This is the force of the spring um, and it's in Newtons. This is the extension of the spring and that's a distance so we'll write it as having units of meters and because the units have to match on both sides of the equation uh, k is known as the stiffness of the spring and we know that it has to have units of newtons per meter um, and you can work that out if you want by dividing both sides by delta x k equals f divided by delta x so it has the units of f divided by the units of delta x that's newtons per meter um, and that's part a answered part b says a mass of 14.8 kilograms is hung from a spring m equals 14.8 kilograms causing the spring to extend by 3.2 centimeters so delta x the extension equals 3.2 centimeters. Uh, give the spring stiffness to three significant figures and use gravity equals 10 meters per second per second. Okay, so we can say weight equals mass times gravity is 148 newtons. And that's the force in this problem. And I'll say as well, 3.2 centimeters is 0 0.032 meters and we already said the stiffness dividing both sides of this equation by delta x the stiffness is f over delta x which equals 148 over 0 0.032 which equals 4625 newtons per meter but we are asked for the answer to three significant figures. That equals 4630 when I round this up to the nearest 10 uh, newtons per meter. Um, part C says the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the moon, G sub M for moon, is 1.622 meters per second per second how do you expect your answer to change uh, how, how far would we expect this spring to extend sorry is the question if it was uh, if the same mass 14.8 kilograms was hung from it on the surface of the moon well we still know the same rules apply weight equals mass times gravity equals 14.8 times 1.622, 24.0056 newtons, and that's the force in the problem, weight is a force, so delta x dividing both sides now by k equals f over k equals 24.0056 divided by our calculated stiffness of 4630. I could have used 4625, it's not going to make a huge difference. Uh, is 5.184, so I can call that 5.18 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. This is in newtons, this is in newtons per meter, so the answer is in meters, and that's the same as 5.18 millimeters. 
just clarify what my answers are here. That's an answer and that's an answer. And then finally in part D um, we're asked about a spring, we're given a stiffness and it's compressed by an initial load of 5 kilonewtons which is gradually applied. Once this load has been applied the spring is further loaded to compress it an additional distance of 500 millimeters. Calculate the total work done on the spring. Okay there's a bit of work to be thought about here so I'm just going to start a new page. Um, we're told that the spring has stiffness K is 25 kilonewtons per meter. I'll call that 25,000 newtons per meter. And the load F1 equals 5 kilonewtons, which is 5,000 newtons. Um, delta X at this stage will be uh, F divided by K according to Hooke's law. Again rearranging um, this equation that we started with Hooke's law you can get delta X equals F over K. So that's 5,000 divided by 25,000 which equals 0 0.2 meters. We're then told that there is a further loading to compress it an additional distance of 500 millimeters. Uh, so second extension or compression I suppose is 500 millimeters which equals 0 0.5 meters. So the total compression equals 0.2 meters at first plus 0.5 meters which equals 0.7 meters. Um, calculate the total work done on the spring. Well you might just remember that the work done on a spring is a half k delta x squared but it's more useful perhaps to remember that work done is the area under a force displacement graph. So if this is delta x in meters and this is force in newtons, our graph, we know our total extension is 0.7 meters. F equals k delta x equals um, 25,000 times 0.7 is 17,500 newtons. That's the total force that we need to get that extension. So this here is 17,500 and that's our force displacement plot. Um, work done is the area underneath that plot. It's that shaded area. And the important thing here is because we're compressing a spring, our force is changing with um, distance. If in many cases you have a constant force, then this graph would be a rectangle because it would have a flat top. The force doesn't vary. And in that case, work done would just be force times distance. And that's a formula you're used to. And it's also, it would be um, you could derive it straight from the area underneath the force distance graph. But things get more complicated when you've got varying forces because you don't know what force to multiply by your distance. So instead we look at the area under the graph. Work done is the area under force displacement graph which here equals a half times the base times the height. equals six one 
6.125 joules and I'm going to call that 6.13 kilojoules to three decimal places, sorry, three significant figures. And that's my answer. That's the work done on the spring. And that is the answer to question four.